player. Yeah. And I mean, she's ready to systematically break you down. Yeah. As we get over to our other very systematic player. I'm so proud of the both of you. That was great. Do you think John is a systematic player? I do. Oh, 1,000. Sometimes I think he is, but then sometimes he just pulls out feats of dark magic, and I question if that's like part of his system. You 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 uh, you underestimate how how deep the the skill tree goes. Oh, yeah. okay. Like like yeah. Numbers has so much like just ingrained knowledge about this game and about this series. Yeah. So the way he, he thinks about the game is different. But it is still very like systematically breaking That's it down. That's very true. Yeah. Also, yeah. shout out. Okay, shout us a player four. Shout us a player four. That was a good folder. <laughs> the other thing is John is oh, extremely he's stubborn. <laughs> oh, he's very stubborn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's Which true. is also why, like, it also lends itself to like he's so systematic, where it's just like you know, I do this in this scenario. Yeah, and he's like, this is supposed to yeah. work. And Why he's like not working? he's not afraid to like force his game plan onto oh, the yeah. game. I mean yeah. we all know that, but that's where the I mean it's where the the mythos comes from. It's like playing against Wii Fit Trainer is not playing against John Numbers. Yeah. Like you know the Wii Fit matchup, whether you're playing against like Nick District or Maroon or like a bunch of these other Wii Fits that are around the world. But Shout have you played against yeah. John Numbers at Xeno? <laughs> Shout out to Xavier. Shout out to Xavier. I just want to say that. Yeah, that's going to Xavier. Xavier, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that guy's the goat. One of the coolest Wii Fits out there, but... Wii Fits got a lot of spikes. You're dead. And it helps that you can buff all of your attributes for no reason. <laughs> yeah, that's our sin. It, it's better than our sin. <laughs> because it offers a defensive buff just as much as an offensive one. That's true. Man, maybe Joker sucks. Yo, Joker sucks. <laughs> okay, hold on a no, second, guys. This is a joke. Well, if you, <laughs> well, if you think about it, if Joker ah. had deep breathing, he'd be better, oh right? My God. So, if any character had deep you're breathing, dead. Better. Yeah. Also, Lamau. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. John just clocked in, man. He's. I tell some people, like, they come to their first Xenos or whatever, and they play against John, or they watch him play, and they see goofy stuff happen, and they're like, how does he not react? And I'm like, you just need to understand this is par for the course, this and he does this every week. Yeah, this is, uh, he does this three times a week, every week. Literally, like, yeah. Also, shout out to, this is related to John, not related oh to the God. set. That's, like, so gross. Yeah. Shout out to John releasing his music pack. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's pretty um, cool. I heard that the download link got throttled by oh, no. Dropbox, which is that very funny. That makes a lot of sense. I have friends who saw that and they were on it instantly. That's great. Um, oh. If I had the ability to add it to my game, I would. The numbers album dropped. The numbers oh, album. It, it yeah. is time. That's so funny. It's great to see numbers talk about his music and like why he put certain songs on and his other songs. Oh yeah, it was but, a it was a good read for sure. Yeah, it was nice. Also, I think on that final stock there, uh, player four was expecting to be hit by strong fair and and uh, set up his tech timing to do it, but got hit by weak fair, so his tech was late. That's possible. True. It's also possible that Cheers. she just missed the tech. It's po I mean, we will never know. That's 50 damage, by the way. Yep, air up smash. Two hits, looking like Donkey Kong. Deep breathing goes hard. Down throw. Yeah. What? Uh, F tilt there, reverse F tilt there sets up a, uh, a usually landing on a platform. Yeah, I just so, haven't I haven't seen that in so long. Yeah, no turn up in hand, one or different eyes. combo. Throws it away. Just trying to set up here the good turnaround grab in order to force off stage. Turn up in hand. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> one of the weird I I don't I don't yeah. know how I feel about the whole system of like you have like the random chance to drop the item. I really don't like it. It feels like it just adds so much randomness to situations that like don't need them. Like again, it's probably fun for like casual play. I think most of the design of these games, Stitch, most of the design of Smash Ultimate as a whole, like there's the reason. It Wait, it he got dot eyes, Stitch dot eyes. Can we talk about that? No. And earlier he got the Saturn and the Stitch, and in my set he got the Saturn and the Stitch. He's Peach things. You just have to accept at this point. He might be the goat. <laughs> my, my favorite 
out of pocket clip about Peach, uh, Peach's RNG is, yo wait, uh, soft back, was when the whole like, we should ban Hero because of the RNG thing was going around. And Leffen gave his take, of course. And was like, well, there's other factors of RNG in the game. I mean, just look at Peach. And Leffen immediately, we can ban Peach too. Oh, that was <laughs> really crispy. That's very good. <laughs> that was very good. One like, of no my favorite <laughs> ultimate clips, you know that clip of, I think it's like Toad playing against Arcdice or something, where okay. he gets like two, <gasps> he gets yeah, like wait. three bombs. Peach is made to a, a, a ton of iconic moments when it comes to like, P just turn up RNG. Forward smash him, disgrace him. The instances you can find, but deep beating dash stack, not respecting a normal turn up. She just slides in there. Yeah. Does the I, little yoga pose. I still think it's such a crime that when she has deep breathing, this, the screen doesn't shake when she takes steps. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Like Bowser style? Yeah, That's so literally. funny. That'd be awesome. I, need, I need someone to mod that. Yeah, can we just get the, the most simple of mods? I mean, if you want to go for like the like a little bit more than simple, you make the edges like kind of fade to fade to black, so it becomes like a survival horror game. You know, yeah. As the, they get closer, you see like the heart. Yeah, shake. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Good uh, stuff to Reggie. Yeah. Player four. More cool. condensation on the screen and stuff. Yeah. And you know what? He pulled a lot of uh, special turnips. They but, didn't really matter. But yeah, none of them hit. Actually, yeah, like, it, like <laughs> it, it might as well have been. He could have won the game with no good RNG, and we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. That's true. Um, Peach player in Jersey, uh, Jukane. Shout out to Jukane. Shout out to Jukane. Um, he doesn't look at the turnips he pulls. That's really funny. He, he presses the button. He presses the button to pull turnip, just like assuming it's the higher odds. So like, oh, it's probably a normal turnip. He's um, like Molto leaving Europe, you yeah. know? Like, <laughs> what I get is what I get. What, you know? what, you, what you get was what you get. But he makes sure to pay attention of his opponent's reaction to what he pulled. How did we compare Jukane's <laughs> peach habits to Molto's Europe Odyssey? Devin's the GOAT. Follow Devin at, at Devin3000. Yeah. Follow Devin oh at Devin3000. <laughs> Humble little game three here. Winner moves on to play Mr. E. Mr. Eric. Mr. Eric. I mean, I I don't know him like that, but you guys I mean, it. Mr. Eric is a Rob player. Nice. <laughs> this is like a brawl thing. There was Mr. E and a Mr. Eric. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And I forget where Mr. Eric is He was, was playing from. Brawl Rob. I so feel bad. Yeah. You know, I, I was talking to John about this. Um, sometimes, like, the way John, like, uh, you know how people talk about like, how we fit, like, lives on the edge? Yeah. This is honestly modern Brawl Rob. Because uh, yeah. the, the point was uh, that it's just like, you know, one of my stronger states is on the ledge. You can't do anything about it, and you force me off. And it's just like, I'll fight you if you go over there. But if you, if you pressure me, I might be I might be grabbing that ledge. Yeah, I don't want to be and pressured. It, <laughs> yeah, and, and it's just like, John, I think you're actually describing 2008 uh, Smash hit. Super Smash Brothers Brawl, <laughs> <laughs> playing as the ancient minister, <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> oh, Roberto! Shoutouts to the <laughs> subspace emissary. <laughs> One of the funniest things about the evolution of the series. I've been looking a lot into this uh, for reasons. Um, <laughs> oh, yo. oh, oh man! I think of the full hits. Did the almost, almost got mutated. But the, um, the evolution of the wedge is such a like interesting di uh, dynamic from when it was introduced back in 64 to now. Because in 64, it's just kind of like there, but it's not a fundamental part of the game. In Melee, it's a fat, it's a flat out like place of strength. Yeah, I actually I I was talking with to someone about this because um, somebody. There's a lots of discussions people have of like, oh, what's better, ledge hogging or ledge trumping, right? I think oh, that. Yeah. I mean, hard. say what you want. I think it's really cool that in a game like Melee, you are rewarded for making it back to the ledge because it's so hard to get back to the ledge in some instances. Yes and no. Because like, I can see, I can see that as like an idea of like, oh man, like yeah, you gain a lot of options and a lot of utilities off of like grabbing this ledge because it's so hard to get there. It's really hard to recover in that game. 
But on the flip side, Galint is such a I, I knew that's exactly mechanic. where you're going. Yeah. It's a place of uh, aggression because you're able to, on reaction, be I like, think, I feel like being invincible now. Yeah, I'm just going to oh. be invincible and throw <laughs> out an invincible kill move in a position where you think you're right. So either let me reset neutral or die. I think the worst part about this game is the severity of some of the magnet hands. I would be... Yeah, that's right. I, I don't mind ledge trumping, but I mind the fact that some characters can live when they clearly should not be. Um, Pyra. Anyways, <laughs> game three, last stock. Yeah, should focus on Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about John the game. numbers. This is close. I, I, I've been really enjoying watching player four like overshoot a ton. Like always trying to chase Don down. I mean, he and beat me, so he has to win the tournament. That is how that works. That is honestly. how that works. Yeah. When you lose to somebody, you tell them you go far. You do it. Don't you do it? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Reggie. <laughs> Realizing <laughs> I shouldn't do this. Shout outs to Peach Forward Air. Holy moly. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I like haven't seen an air. <laughs> Like yeah, I don't, I don't care. About I mean, that Sun move Zao. does that move doesn't kill, but that move hits through everything. Oh, it's so so strong. Jeez, wow! Great I can't believe was he holding away. He had to have been yeah, holding. Right? He had to have been holding like up and out. I think and just went to the Back corner. Right? You might be dead. With deep breathing, not oh. quite. <gasps> oh, 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 always gotta be careful with the. Volleyball tricks, the roll on is perfect, and the staying grounded even better from player four. This is actually backer. dangerous for numbers. I oh. okay. the deep breathing ran out. The deep breathing ran out, yeah. Okay. okay. Why do challenge. I say anything? What a challenge. Why like, do I, I say anything? It's it's so hard in a last <laughs> in a last hit moment like that, because you never know what uh what either player is like really hunting for it, but you can try and like piece together the puzzle and see what exactly they're scouting. Oh. But because numbers, I mean, just like check out, I'm going to reset to the very beginning of this. This is, has been this little box with a roof on it. This little house has been the numbers zone for whether it be on the left or right side of the stage, basically the entire time where he's staying very low to the ground and threatening a lot of like dash attacks and a lot of, uh, a like, means of launch and horizontal kill moves. But I do want to point out this is P4's kill. Oh. <laughs> Can we get to the last stock, please? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. <laughs> I was watching and I was like, what is he cooking? Okay. What, what, is, what is happening? Like, where are we the going? The difference in... If I'm allowed to finish my train of thought before I react to <laughs> Go that Go for show. it. <laughs> Go for it. The difference in the... Uh, the way that John plays